Hey guys, it's Sam. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is the Ipsy Unbagging. For some reason, I saw some people getting gold bags on YouTube. Um, I still got a pink one. I don't know if there was like a difference between the colors or what, but yeah. So this is going to be an Ipsy Unbagging and try on. So I'm going to be trying on all the products today. So let's just get into the bag. So the first thing I see are these two face masks, and they're the Skin Purifying and Illuminating ones. They're from the brand I'm Real. Oh no, from Tony Molly. Yeah. So this is a green tea sheet mask, and this one is the Lotus Mask sheet. I'm not going to be trying on these today. Just because I tried on a face mask in my other one and I have to go someplace today and I already put on my face, mas face makeup. So yeah, I'll be maybe trying these some other time. But I am really happy to be getting masks because I love masks. I love trying all different kinds of masks, so I'm excited for that. So for the bag, it's an egg because the theme is like over easy or something. But the back is pretty darn cute. There's like this little butt. But... I'm not a fan of the bag. I don't know, it's just, I don't see myself using this that often, but. So it comes with this little card that just says over easy and it just kind of talks about this theme for the month. I'm not going to go too much into detail about it. It's just kind of, this month is just kind of like being lazy, I guess. That's what it's about. I don't really know. So the first thing in the bag that I see is this um, tantalizing taupe eyebrow cream by the brand Chella looks like this it's kind of hard to see but I'm excited to try this it looks like kind of like a pomade because one side has like the product in it and then the other side is the brush now the brush does kind of seem really thick but we're gonna try it anyways so I'm just gonna take a spoolie and brush my eyebrow hairs upwards I'm super excited to try this, so I think it'll be really awesome, hopefully. So I'm just going to take the brush and dip it into the product. Now I don't know if it's like a cream product or a powder. I'm guessing it's cream because that'd be weird if they put powder in there. Okay, it's kind of hard to get it on the brush. I'm kind of scared. Okay... I don't know if I like the brush, it's kind of too thick for this, I feel like. I mean, it's working, don't get me wrong. I might try to go in with a different brush, though. It's, like, really dark, oh my gosh. <laughs> so I'm just going to spoolie this out. Yeah, I think I'm going to go in with a different brush, because this one is really thick. Oops. Probably just messed that up. <laughs> oh god, okay, yeah. So yeah, I'm just gonna go in with pretty much like the same brush, but it's a lot thinner. And I'm gonna try this instead. Just so I can get the outline of the brow that I want. Okay, that is a lot better. Yeah, so I'm not a fan of the brush. But so far, I mean, the product's going on pretty nicely, I guess. I mean... They look pretty nice. I like the color, I guess. I mean, it's a little dark if I keep building up the product. But, I mean, it could be a lot worse. So far, it's a pretty nice product. I like it. So I'm just going to draw kind of like some hair-like things right in front. So next in the bag, I got this Ofra Cosmetics um, Gold Rush Eyeshadow. 
It's just the single one. I've never tried an Ofra product before, so I'm excited to see how this performs on the eyes. Okay, I'm just gonna swatch it. Ooh, really creamy. Pretty pigmented. Um, I'm gonna swatch it right here. So it's just this really pretty gold. So I'm just gonna go in to my Jaclyn Hill palette and just kind of get a transition going just so I have something to put that color on. I'm just gonna take some transition colors. So with my finger, I'm gonna take the Ofra color. I'm just gonna put this on my lid. And I think this is a metallic. It doesn't really say. Now I'm going to go in with the brush just so I can get it precisely where I want it. So next in my Ipsy bag, I got this Ciate London Wonder Wand Gel Coal Eyeliner. And I'm guessing it's just in black. It doesn't say in a color on it. Oh, okay. So one side comes with like a little smudger brush. And the other side is the actual product. So I'm just going to tight line my waterline with this. Oh wow, this is very nice. This goes on so nicely. I like this. So now I'm going to take the other side. And I'm going to try to smudge this out, I guess. Um, actually, I don't really see how this could work. It's not a dense enough brush to smudge it out. Maybe you could... Yeah, no, I'm not sure. So I'm not sure about the brush part, but I do really like the eyeliner. So the last product in my bag is this Jersey Shore Cosmetics Mandarin Green Orange and Ginger Lip Conditioner. I was reading some of the reviews about this product and I heard that a lot of people think that it smells really disgusting. So yeah, I'm kind of curious to see what it smells like. Okay, I've totally smelled this before. It's not too bad, it just kind of smells like lemon to me. I don't know. I think it's the ginger that kind of throws people off, but I'm going to try it. Oh, I really love how it gives like a gloss. I'm not going to put anything on top of this. I'm just going to leave it like this. Oh, so you can use this anywhere on your face and body, but it's like recommended for your lips, hands, and even a dry nose and cheeks. Wow. That's really cool, but kind of weird. I don't think I'll be doing that. <laughs> So I'm just going to finish off my eyes with some mascara and I'll be right back. So I got my mascara on and I just kind of highlighted my brow bone and inner corner. So my review on the bag is probably like a 3 out of 5. I don't know, I just don't see myself ever grabbing for this one. I have a lot of other cute Ipsy bags that I probably would reach for before I would reach for this one. But, I mean... I'll maybe give it to my sister or something, I don't know. <laughs> so for everything in the bag, I really loved... I'm sure I'll love the face mask because I love all face masks. <laughs> um, the eyebrow thing, I think it... I mean, it got my eyebrows done for sure, but I don't really like the brush in there, but that's not going to stop me from using this product, so... The eyeliner went on so nicely. So I really love this, but the brush part, I'm, again, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. It's probably just going to not get used. The eyeshadow, um, the color, I probably wouldn't use that often, but it applied really nicely on the eyes. It's really pretty. I'll probably use it in some looks. So for the lip conditioner, chapstick kind of thing, I don't see a problem with it. All the reviews were like, it's... It feels weird on the lips, the smell and the taste kind of throws me off, but once it's on I don't really smell it. I think it feels really nicely on the lips. It kind of 
I mean, you can tell that it's like moisturizing and kind of like conditioning your lips. And I like how it gives like a nice gloss. So I really like that. I think I liked everything in the bag. The one thing maybe that, I don't know, the eyeshadow was maybe one of the least, one of my least favorites, but it was okay. So that is everything in the bag. I hope you guys really like this video. I kind of love doing these ipsy try-ons, so if you like that, then give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to me so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. Um, I used to, okay, so I always used to just post on Wednesdays and Saturdays, but I think I'm just going to switch it to like twice a week. Because sometimes I like could upload it on Thursday other than Wednesday, like I have a better chance because I like don't work or something. So yeah, I'm just going to switch it to like two days a week, I think. So yeah, this is everything for this video. I hope you guys like it, and don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.